Hello, my friends. Wes Tank here. Welcome to part two of the Raven Trilogy, where we find out who's doing all that rapping. It was me. I was rap. I was the one that rapped. I was he. He wrote it. I rapped it. He's the writer. I'm the rapper. Thanks so much for all your great comments on the first video. I love them all, and I try to respond to every single one if I can. I know what you're saying. Tank, get to the raps as fast as possible, and I'm going to. But I wanted to share a couple of quick comments just to give a little more depth and insight to the poem so that we can appreciate it as we listen and read. There was one comment from Curtis where he said, What is wind but the whispering of our past regrets? Thanks for sharing. Um, I welcome all of you to share your poetry. Captain Kirk asked if I could put all of the songs together into one video, and I'm happy to make a video with all three of them together if that's something you guys want. Amanda D said, I love this new adaptation to books I hated in school. The Raven has always been a favorite, though. This poem is about a spirit, Lenore. The Raven is seen as a sign of death. It taps to let him know it's close ever drawing near, tortures him with the memory of his past love. It brings the eventual acceptance of death. The raven is the death at his door as it's now his turn to die. I think that's a really great interpretation of this poem. What is it? Is it just the wind? Well, perhaps it is more than just the wind, and we're going to find out more about that today. There was also another really heartfelt uh, comment that I wanted to read, and that's from Jessica W. I've just suffered a death in my life this past Thursday, and now one of my best friends just suffered a death in his life yesterday. This poem is just one of those pieces of writing that is such a beautiful, hauntingly perfect parallel, allegory, metaphor, personification for grief. Well, thank you, Jessica, for sharing that. And I'm very sorry for your loss and for your friend's loss. <sighs> I think poetry is a way that we can help us feel our feelings. I would encourage you guys to write and use your emotions and your intellect to come up with something to help yourself with the passing grief. And if these videos can help you at all with that, then I'm happy to be of service, so... It's an honor, and why don't we get into this rap song? Shall we? Open here, I flung the shutter, and with many a flirt and flutter, in there stepped a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. Not the least of seasons, maybe not a minute stopped or steady, but with mien of lord or lady, perched above my chamber door, perched upon a bust of palace just above my chamber door, perched and sad and nothing more, perched and sad and nothing more. Seventy bird beguiling my sad fancy into smiling by the grave and stern decorum of the countenance it wore. Though thy crest be shorn and shaven, thou I said on churn or graven, ghastly grim and ancient raven, wandering from the nightly shore. Tell me what thy lordly name is on the night nice Plutonian shore. Quote the raven nevermore. Quote the raven nevermore. I marvel this ungainly foul to hear this course so plainly, though it's answer little meaning, little relevancy bore. For we cannot help agreeing that no living human being ever yet was blessed with seeing bird above his chamber door. Bird or beast upon the sculptured bust above his chamber door as such a name as nevermore, such a name as nevermore. Raven sitting lonely on the placid bus spoke only That one word as if his soul and that one word he did outpour Nothing farther than he uttered, not a feather than he fluttered Till I scarcely more than muttered other friends have flown before On the morrow he will leave me as my hopes have flown before Then the bird said nevermore Then that bird said nevermore At the stillness broken by reply so aptly spoken Doubtless said I what it utters is its only stock in store Caught from some unhappy master whom unmerciful disaster Followed fast and followed faster till his song one burden bore Till the dirges of his hope that melancholy burden bore Of never, never, never more, never more, never more Never more, never more, never more, never more, never more. 
it's still beguiling all my fancy into smiling straight I wield a cushion seat in front of bird and busting door then upon the velvet sinking I betook myself to linking fancy unto fancy thinking what this ominous bird of yore what this grim ungainly ghastly gaunt and ominous bird of yore meant in croaking nevermore went in croaking nevermore What did the raven mean in croaking nevermore? Perhaps we'll never know. Or perhaps we'll find out in part three. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the flip side.